you're doing. Admiring the view. Yeah, I can see the beautiful view. Hello, hello there, I'm Michael B. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. Welcome back to Rook. First of all, I will start to apologize. It's gonna be some short episodes, or at least much time lapses, because summer has come and the next two months is gonna be very busy in real life. So I hardly have to do have time to do uh, recordings, but I will do the best I can so I won't you won't feel cheated for some episodes. And with that said, I have been working uh, a lot of the recordings. Let's take a look at our magical PDA. I have been fertilizing the whole lot. As you can see here, there are also little uh, funky things going on on field 4. But that has to do with different growth stages. I uh, fertilized too early. But no matter, everything should be ready to harvest. And this is going to be the final harvest we are going to do here on Brook. Now we have to move on. We have been giving uh, a great opportunity to move on. I'm not going to say where yet. It's going to be a surprise. But we're going to do the harvest and uh, wrap things up. We have uh, got a contract uh, by doing some forestry. Hopefully we can do that in the last episode. They want our help down there. So uh, that's one of the places on this beautiful map I haven't been. So that might be uh, a trip worth. But let's get on to it. What do we need? We have a lot of oat. We have a lot of canola. No, not so much canola. We need to turn this into diesel. See if we can earn some money on that. We got some corn. We need 22 chaff. And a lot of cotton. And a lot of sugar beets. I think I'll throw some combines out on field 8. Uh, we are in the process of learning up two uh, employees. That's going to take over for me and Anna when we are, are leaving. So that's going to be interesting to see how that's going to gonna turn out. And with that said, we are allowed to hire two workers, and, uh, well, I am allowed to hire three workers, and then including myself, so we hopefully we are going to be four on the go most of the time today, or at least in this episode, so if I just can get up a little, or go a little faster, we are going to get starting up with these combines, so let them get going, and get the harvest done. He says, ramming into the, sh the first pole ever. And yeah, it's a tight squeeze. Very tight squeeze. That's no way to treat your machinery. Mr. B. Alright. Hook you up. Fold you in. Open up the harvester. Uh, this might be necessary to take a headlamp or two, or we can just try to get it going. We've got a reasonable pace. And we're leaving straw behind for the cows, cow bedding. Let's see if we can let the temporary <laughs> workers <laughs> pick it up. It's going quite well. Under a minute, first the harvester, and then slam the header into a tree. Nicely job, nicely done. Yeah. Gonna be happy that you're leaving. Oh my goodness, so happy. They're ruining everything. Crazy people. So I think I'm going to try to aim for the longest run from here, so that'll be something like this, I think, let's see where he wants to go, yeah, should be alright, okay, well, you just continue, down, back, down, back, okay, hit oak, and we have to harvest and leave behind straw swaths, right? 
don't think that was too much. Okay, let's run through the corn. No, not the corn. The oak field. And get the next one set up. Let's see if we can do this a little more elegantly. There we go. So we can start opening you up. Getting you ready. On with the header. Fold you up. And fire you all. So, what are we gonna do with this? Start on the complete opposite of the field. And yeah, that's gonna be a little more tricky. Hmm. I think we have to aim for the lower half of the field. Possibly, I don't know. Somewhere along these lines, maybe? Could go further. Now let's just do it like this. And if we do it... He will probably go like this. Hopefully he's gonna reach the tree and turn around so they won't interfere with each other. And you do the same as I told the other one before, just harvest, okay? Leave small swaths behind and you are harvesting oak, okay? Right. Doesn't seem to leave that much straw behind. Hmm. Okay, well. Then what? Well, I'll tell you then what. Well, we have these two on the go. So actually we could start producing some chef. Right. And this bad boy. Hmm, that was strange. What's that? Oh. oh, can't turn it on unless you're on. Unfold. And it does, it does the chaff. Good, 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 good. Ah, excellent. That looks pretty silly. Okay, I could have gone to the workshop and removed the uh, the arms. Uh, yeah, that's a little kind of over there. <laughs> uh. Funny. A ah, little wheat. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, so maybe we can set Anna off here and uh, I might do a headlamp too. A tent. The other guys. Well, at least one of them is still going. Maybe he needed to go on a bathroom break or something. I don't know. Could be. Or else he couldn't just bother with it. Oh, nah, I'm not gonna do this. It's too boring. Well, we're about to run a farm. We volunteered, dude. Think it's gonna be easier? No, it's not. Been lovely with the pizza extender. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do headliner too, and then. Uh, and now working on this field and I guess it's a long way around so uh, that might do for a little time lapse
be a good place to uh, sit and go in. Hopefully it's going to continue all the way down, leaving a little bit behind in the corner. It should be excellent. Yep, and she's off. All right, let's see what trop they're doing over here. Silly worker. What about you? Seems like you're doing an okay job. Good. And how many passes? You went down and you went up again? Conveniently stop there. Because... Okay. Because, yeah, that's why. Well, maybe. Maybe because I didn't do the headlands. Oh, I'm sorry. I got confused over that. Well. And we'll do the headland on the boat. That's gonna help you. And I can see uh, from the numbers not working at the uh, corn chaffing that uh, somebody's not doing that job. So I need to look into that. What Anna she's doing. And she's even want money for it. <laughs> well am I going to do everything myself? Where are you? So I can yell at you. Uh well. And what do you think you're doing? Admiring the view. Yeah, I can see the beautiful view. But uh, can you please uh, get to work? This is what you didn't want to do, huh? Let me do it instead. Huh? Thank you. Well, let's make it three headlands then. You're unsure how to do things. See the harvester can hold something on its own. Let me just try something because if this loading wagon is causing confusion, then we can do this on our own. Perhaps. Just not sure how much it can hold. Let me see. One percent, two percent, like half a million. A fast calculation. Oh. Okay. We can do that. Let's just see how uh, how she's acting up down here. And then what are you gonna do? Can you handle it? You're gonna enjoy the view again. Nope, we had enough of the view. Yeah, backing up, straightening up, and go. Seems like that was the issue. Well, we can let the wagon stand around and fill it up as we go along. Right. Onto the cotton. 
And this field out all alone. And 17 miles an hour, that's gonna take a sweet time. That's gonna bring a lot of money. Remember the last time when we did field 4? Huge amount of money. And this field is uh, not double, but I don't know, 1.6, 1.5. So it depends on the price. And talking about price, let's go for auto control. Auto control, cruise control. Stay in a straight line. Good, let's check some prices. What do you want from wool right now? Okay. Well, that's not too bad, but hopefully the price is gonna increase. That's not wool. Well, that's wool. Cotton. Hello, McFly. There we go. I thought it was a little low, but I thought, yeah, well, okay. Yeah, now we're talking. But it's on declining. Uh, this is rising, so hopefully. Last time it was also the Zebebarai. Um, well, when we're we done, perhaps uh, the prices are even better. It's gone down and up again. Because this is going to take a long time. And... Uh, I don't think you need to see this. I've done this one time before. So... Uh, let's just make a... A cut for it. And... Uh, get back when we are ready to sell. All the cotton. I think we have a deal. We have a deal. See ya. Hello, I'm back. Well, as you can see, uh, this is not cotton, and uh, this is not ready to be sold. Well, at least not yet. Uh, and over there, not some cotton. Uh, it's, it's taken uh, um, a bit longer than I uh, had uh, expected. Been working full head two hours game, uh, real life time so to speak and uh, I think we're halfway done look at all those sugar beets mm, there's a few so uh, I think we might extend uh, this series with uh, another episode because I really don't want to rush the last episode just to get things done on a, on a proper proper outro finishing episode so uh, as you can see uh, I am working here on the sugar beets and over on the cotton field we have the two uh, the two new workers and uh, and I'm still working on the uh, chef Almost complete, I think. Can't be that much left. Don't know if we can see it from here. No, it's over the hill and far away. But uh, of course, we will continue, and uh, I think we'll wrap it up here. And uh, first thing in the next episode, we'll be uh, selling all the good stuff. Uh, because we're not that far. We have done field uh, 8 with the oat just waiting to be uh, put into the silos. And we have come to the end of this episode. I thank you very much for watching. And as always, feedback and comments are much appreciated. Hit that like button and please subscribe if you have not done so already. If you would like to invite your friends over to watch as well, that would be delightful. Until next time, keep safe, take care and stay cool. Bye.